We usually think of atoms as being fairly stable and unchanging, but in some circumstances, atoms can actually undergo decay or breakdown, releasing particles and energy, and actually forming into different types of atoms. That is the process of nuclear decay. So nuclear means nucleus, decay means breaking down, and what gets released is we call radiation and radioactivity. There's three different types of things that can get released. Uh, two are particles, and they would never be released at the same time. We either have uh, atoms that undergo alpha decay, so that means alpha, and that's the Greek letter alpha, and that's Beta, so the other one is beta decay, and that is the Greek letter beta. The third one is not a particle, it's just energy, and that is gamma. Now, so um, what tends to happen is elements either undergo alpha decay or beta decay, and at the same time they release energy in the form of radiation called gamma rays. So an alpha particle is uh, quite a heavy particle. An alpha particle actually has a mass of four and an atomic number of two. So what does that mean? It means that the alpha particle, the thing that gets ejected from the nucleus, actually has two protons and two neutrons. So what gets ejected is two protons and two neutrons. and two neutrons. So you might well identify uh, a four and two as being um, helium. And so we often say that what gets ejected is a helium nuclei because helium has two protons and two neutrons. So when alpha decay, what is ejected from the nucleus is an alpha particle. And that is two protons and two neutrons. So we need to be thinking about heavy, uh, the heavier atoms, so things like plutonium and uranium. You know, you've heard of those as being uh, radioactive, okay, and what they do is they undergo alpha decay. So when they do that, they actually form into different types of elements, and I'm going to explain that in the next video. Beta decay, what a beta particle is, is it's a high energy electron. Okay, so we describe it like that, as a high energy electron. Now, we're talking about the nucleus decaying, but I'm saying that what gets released is an electron. So I'm sure you're thinking, there's no electrons in the nucleus. What happens is that a neutron splits apart, an electron gets ejected, and what remains behind is a proton. So that means that the atom gains an extra proton. The atom gains a proton. So again, it's a different type of element because it's gained one proton. So its atomic number goes up by one. I'll explain that to you in the next video as well. The next one, gamma, is just radiation. It's part of the electromagnetic spectrum. So it's high energy radiation. part of the electromagnetic spectrum, okay? So when gamma radiation gets released, it's just lots and lots of energy. Now that energy can, uh, can have some uh, negative health effects, and, but also can be used uh, for uh, in, in industry in other ways as well. But primarily we know it as being having negative health effects, so more on that as well. But that's nuclear decay in a nutshell.